Hello, my name's Dave. Welcome to the M0 OGY radio and antenna review of the new Anytone AT6666. Anytone came onto the scene around four years ago and brought the very popular AT5555 out, which uh, has sold very well. Uh, and this is the latest one. Unlike that model, it uh, looks very much more like an amateur radio in its design looks a lot like uh, a small radio like a Yaesu FT817 so uh, roughly the size of one of those also what comes with a radio um, you get the transceiver you get a quite a, a large microphone compared to the earlier Anytone offerings is quite well made and uh, got up and down frequency keys comes with a bracket a painted bracket a bag of fasteners fixings and screws and this one came with programming software it's got USB to mini USB and a disc and the box and unfortunately this one's come with a plain box as it's a sample. I am reliably informed that uh, the production versions that uh, the customers will get will be in a printed box and will come with a handbook. I've got the handbook on PDF file for this uh, model but uh, I thought it worthwhile to get uh, a plain box version to show all uh, the viewers on YouTube as early as I could. So we'll go through uh, what, what uh, sort of power it makes and then we'll go through the features and functions. Quite a high power radio this one. It does 17 watts on AM, 45 watts on FM and 60 full watts on that single sideband. go through the functions now on the front panel left to right right on your left you have got RF power it's a double pot RF power and you've also got uh, your RF gain so your RF power it's uh, variable on all modes RF gain you're fairly self explanatory you've got a 6 pin microphone plug you've got a, a really weird um, RX light which I'm sure will change to red It's uh, it wobbles about it's like 5 mil uh, Sticks produce 5 mil. It's quite uh, strange that, but uh, quite different. Moving across, you've got uh, a clarifier again, double pot, a clarifier in your squelch. This radio is fitted with an auto squelch. The squelch is in the middle, the middle one. You've got auto squelch, what comes on squelch and it goes from 1 to 36 there's your clarifier control the outer one then below it you got your volume on off which is just a single one obviously the volume it goes up again you've got to read out on it moving across you've got memory it's got six memory channels built in mode FM, AM, upper sideband, lower sideband and it's got a PA facility band, it's banded A to I this one's only enabled from the factory for 10 meter amateur radio use but uh, it'll be obviously this will uh, alter when you reprogram it if you wish to that's your programming 
frequency, now this one, I'll just move the, the frequency, that shows you frequency are channels. So you can have it on channel or frequency, which is handy. We'll show you the um, the button under it, EMG, emergency. Now this, it's got a lock on it, so you can actually lock your keys. Or you can uh, scroll between channel 9, 19 and back up to where you was. That's what that one does. There it is, he says. There you are. You've got uh, a dual watch facility, scan facility, and there's your men menus. It's quite uh, menu driven, this radio. There's more style these days. Quite easy to use. Colour blue, green, red, yellow, purple, cyan, white, back to blue. Then your menus. Little left comes on in the top corner, I've noted. We'll get into the menus, won't we? Right, got various menus, key beeps on and off, microphone uh, gain, you can turn up and down, timeout timer, which uh, goes from uh, either off or not to 10 minutes. Various functions. So that's your functions on the front panel. Also, just to show you this one, you've got your channel change, which is fairly self-explanatory. And the channel change is quite uh, got a good feel to it as well. It doesn't wobble or anything. It's quite good. You press it in, and you can alter your steps. So look. Go across, look, alters your steps all the way across, dead easy that. A lot better in the earlier versions. So that's that. So, that's the front panel of the new AT6666. Uh, lots of uh, features, I will just go through a few of them. Um, just to sh you know, show you what they do or what what um, functions it has got. Um, it's got various things in the menus: high cut filter, noise blanker, echo control. Obviously, that's for your CB radio operators. Ten kilohertz steps. Uh, Roger beep. Background colours, which we've already looked at, with seven colours. Um, key beeps on and off, indicator for SWR, timeout, timer and voltage, mic gain 1 to 36. Oh, there's so many, lots and lots, and there's a, at the very end a reset function to put it all back to default. So, uh, very good. So, we'll have a look at the uh, back of the radio, see what that looks like, and then we'll take a look inside it. The back panel is uh, basically very much covered by an aluminium, cast aluminium heat sink, which uh, certainly is a good feature and one I like. Uh, it may have helped if it had a fan on it, but um, it uh, certainly looks uh, a lot more professional than just a, a bolted on type. So there's not a lot to see really on the back panel. One thing I have noted it's got quite heavy gauge power cable with a good fuse on it, but it's uh, hard wired into the unit underneath there. You've got the standard fare SO239 UHF coupler. Next to it, you've got a 3.5 millimeter jack plug for an external speaker, and then. Uh, unlike the earlier radios where you had to take the bottom cover off, this one's got a mini USB connector to plug your computer straight in the back. 
so that's a lot better for your warranty claims and what have you so that's the back panel of the radio certainly nice and chunky and one thing I did note with this uh, product that um, it feels nice and heavy it's got a bit of meat in it I'm sure a lot of it's in that back uh, that back heat sink but uh, with a radio capable of producing the sort of power this one does it'll certainly need it well we'll have a look inside it this is a look inside the radio it's got a 8 ohm 3 watt speaker that plugs in the board there as I pointed out before the power lead is hardwired through the back most things are shielded there is a port there that's the front panel directly mounted to the aluminium heatsink surface mount technology employed throughout Look very well shielded for sure so that's a look inside the Anytown AT6666 thanks for watching the review of the uh, new Anytown we will be giving it some on air testing very shortly see how it performs uh, first impressions are very good but uh, the proof will be in uh, how it operates on the bands so thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch you on the uh, part two best seven threes from dave m0 ogy in north lincolnshire in the united kingdom catch you on the next one bye bye